Hey yo, what's going on all my gamers, all my Honkai Star Rail gamers. So, I saw this clip the other day from IO, and I wanted to talk about it because IO posted this clip of Tectone, and you know, I wanted to shout out IO because I basically got this idea from him, and where Tectone says this. Um, but on a real note, HSR is becoming what we all knew it was going to become, which is have this character or you lose. Mm. And it kind of sucks. It's a shame, but but it really is getting to that issue where have this character for this game mode or you lose. Or you don't get max rewards. Right. Right. It It's pretty irritating. Happens if you release two characters every patch. Is what it is. is what, if you disagree, I would love to know why. So I wanted to talk about that because I touched about this uh really briefly it wasn't really for that long in my weathering in uh, my do you need the meta for weathering waves and i did say in that video because i was talking about all three games i was talking about genshin honkai star rail and then weathering waves and i did say that in honkai star rail i feel like the meta is actually really important and i said that because it is not you basically don't have any other way to fight other than numbers if that makes sense you don't have your mechanics like you don't have um, your mechanical skill to get you through the fight if you say have a level one character in weathering waves if you never get hit you never die you could probably beat a hologram oh actually probably not because those are timed but you know you could beat a really hard boss without ever leveling a character because you could just move you can jive and you will basically never die you can't really get through that in a game like honkai star rail in a game like honkai star rail you it, it's just it just depends all on numbers and so i was thinking when i was going through the roster because i was like is there any four star characters where i feel like i would get them right and i or i would feel like i would use them over a five star character and the answer is no. <laughs> the only four-star character I would ever consider using is Ching Chue. And that is more of a personal bias because I think she's really cute and she's a little gremlin. So in that regard, I would use her. I have her. And that also doesn't just work on her own. I have like Sparkle with her. I have Branya, And, you know, any way I could buff her. So... Even then, I'm not really just using the character. I'm using the characters that buff her to make her really strong. You know, I feel, you know, there even, I feel like there's even, I think uh, Memory of Chaos or one of them is specifically the design around follow characters. And you have a character like Dr. Ratio, who I don't want to use because I think he actually blows cock. <laughs> Figuratively and literally. But yeah, <laughs> I think Dr. Ratio is such an ass character. He is so dog shit. I'd rather not use him, but it's like, who else am I going to really use for follow up with my Topaz? Topaz being my actual good character who I would really want to use. So it's like, uh, <laughs> I might as well just try to use Dr. Ratio, but my Dr. Ratio sucks. You know, I always feel like you need to have at least one of the big three DPSs in this game, which is Don Hung Prime. Um, Jing Liu and Acheron. Although I think Firefly might be up there now. I think Bussy Hill is up there as well. You kind of need these characters or you're just trolling, honestly. <laughs> it, I, now, I don't want to say that you can't get by without these characters. I'm sure you can, especially with the story. I kind of want to try it with uh, a, a, no, a new brand new account. Not really using any five star characters, but of course, I don't know. I feel like I don't really have the time, and I don't know if I have the patience to go through that again. I did that once and I did it with Genshin where I had a second where I had a smurf and I just <laughs> I never used it. But that that account eventually got broken as well because I have all like the top tier characters on a free to play, no battle pass, nothing account. But with Honkai Star Rail, I just feel like I would get way too annoyed. But I, I, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, cause I'm looking at the roster here on my second monitor. I'm trying to think who you would use in a team. You probably use Drie and like Gwenifen, probably. Like you could probably use those characters. You could use Chingtrip and like Pella. It, it's really hard to pick 
four stars from Honkai Star Rail and be like, yeah, that's usable. They're not like Benny in Genshin Impact where it's like, you know, this character's stupidly broken. You might as well, you, you can use them. <laughs> you know, you can use, you know, they have characters like Yunjin. Um, what is the other one? Yunjin, Fischl, Benny. Um, Sucrose isn't that really that broken. Uh, Xingqiu. You know, these, these are all characters that are busted that are four stars. And, you know, you don't really need Hu Tao or Arlecchino or Zhongli to beat the end game uh, flawlessly. But in Honkai Star Rail, dude, I, I, I cannot tell you any situation in where I would not want to use just my Acheron team. I went against the... I played against the Sunday fight with what I thought was the correct team. I used the... the you know, I used the weakness. He, used, he had imaginary weakness and fire. I used dog shit, Dr. Ratio, and I used Topaz, and I immediately died. <laughs> I actually failed the fight the first time, and then I was just like, you know what? Screw it. I'm using Akron. My, my Akron team is Akron, Kafka, Black Swan, and um, uh, uh, Fushron. Uh, I dubbed that team, Your Son Calls Me Mommy, too, and they, they just destroyed the boss. <laughs> I literally didn't struggle at all. I got max shields every time, but... You know, this is my my opinion. You guys have an opinion on this. It's really hard for me to say. I, I, like, I'm trying to just think about how the how how you would not use the meta characters, but like all these other characters that are free four stars are just so trash. I don't know. Maybe you can make <clears throat> if you can make Don Hong Prime work. Surely you could just make uh Don Hong. Dun Dun hung uh, normal work right, smile maybe. You know what, chat? Use hook. Beat the game with hook, and then maybe I'll believe that you don't need the top characters. <laughs> Wait, who's the who's the? No, chat, chat. Someone make an Arlon team and beat the game, and then you know what? I'll I'll, I'll be there with you. You know what? L let's read some of these comments. Uh, let's see what Tectone says himself. Uh, make sure to consider for this issue. I'm referring to the la largest demo free to play, lower spending casuals. I am a, you know, I myself am a free to play. I am a casual. I don't have the money to spend. <laughs> Although otherwise I would be. No one cares if you can beat everything with Giga Sweat relics. Every uh sig light cone, tag me in a little bit. Uh, what does Hex say? I am a yes, mostly you need uh, yes, but mostly only for newer or more casual free to play players. This is not a thing if you could just simply get the new characters with money and blah, 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 blah built up a lot of characters. I feel this is much, uh, pretty, oh, wow, she has so much more. <laughs> it's pretty crap for everyone else, though. It makes the game very difficult to jump into, which isn't good for the long-term success of HSR. It's going to be very big brick wall if needed. Akron of Firefly, hoping the damage is a percentage of DPS. I also didn't talk about this, but it also might actually gatekeep when new players might be able to play, right? Because you kind of want to join in around the time of a top tier DPS. Like if you were to play Honkai Star Rail, you would want to play it now because you would get Firefly, and Firefly is a top DPS. And you may, you could even, um, I would recommend getting Firefly and Ruan May back to back if you were like on a new new account. Spend all that on these characters. Maybe they're light cone. I personally don't get light cones. That's a lie. I, I don't I don't spend money on light cones. I'll get the I'll get light cones because it's like getting a character their weapon. They just look good and they deserve it because they're hot. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm a sim for these characters, brother. Is what I do, anyways. Um, so you would want to play during Acheron reruns, Firefly reruns, Kafka reruns, uh, Dunhong Prime reruns. Uh, Jing Liu rerun, Jing Liu reruns, rerun. Wow, I can't say that. Reruns <laughs> and the like of that. You know, even Robin chat. I didn't get Robin. I'm still sad about it. I mentioned it every video because I'm very sad. Anyways, chat. That's all I really wanted to talk about today. I really want to know how you guys feel about this. If you guys agree with Tectone, I do agree with Tectone. I think, uh, as well as with Hex Juice over here, the 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 League Master herself, Hex underscore Juice. And yeah, just, you know, that's just my thoughts about it. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. And I will catch you gamers in the next one.
Buckle up. Run on, drop the top.